All three Stalker games have their very own unique mechanics and features, and when we think about Clear Sky, one of the things that comes to mind is the ability to join factions and take part in the faction wars. Hello Stalkers and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we will show how to join factions in Clear Sky, and what benefits you can have by participating in their conflicts. Apart from the Clear Sky faction which the player is forced to join and fight with at the beginning of the game, the protagonist is by default a mercenary, and has the option to join one of four factions. These factions are the Loners, the Bandits, Duty and Freedom. Let's start with the Loners. You can join the Loners after you've finished with the main quest in the Cordon that is, deal with the military problem that the Stalkers have. After it's done, you can ask Father Valerian to join the faction, and he will gladly take you in, giving you a bear detector and five antirads. Once a loner, the bandits become hostile to you, and they are the main antagonist of your faction. Your objective will be to secure the roads leading to the garbage, if they're not under loner control already and push into the garbage towards the bandit base. After all the transition points between the cordon and the garbage are yours, you can make the final attack on the depot. This side of the faction wars is quite easy, as the stalkers are in greater numbers and better equipped than the bandits. But keep in mind that the final assault on the main base often has to be done without any support from your fellow stalkers. Still, the bandits are weak opponents, and taking on them alone should not be a big problem for the player. After the base has been destroyed, the trader will reward you with cash, a Veles detector, a Seva suit, and a bubble artifact. Oh, and the bandit faction will not be completely wiped out. They will retake control of their old base in no time. Actually, this happens with any of the four factions. Anyway, let's see what it's like on the other side of the fence. If you want to join the bandits, you need to make sure not to ruin your reputation with them. This means to not kill any bandit and avoid making them hostile to you. This can be difficult because the bandits will try to rob you at the entrances of the garbage. So you can either accept to give them your cash or wait for the loners to secure the path by themselves. Then you have to perform some jobs for yoga. This can only be done if you do not follow the quests of Wild Nabra. The three missions involve silencing a digger, killing everyone at a weapon deal, and securing the flea market with the help of a bandit squad. After that's done, you still need to finish the main quest lines up to the point where you have to go to Yantar that is, after flooding the Agroprom underground. And only then will you be able to join the bandits. Still, I strongly suggest that you complete the quests in Yantar before joining the bandits, because if you join the bandits first, Lefty's group will be hostile to you, and I'm not even sure if you can complete the tasks in Yantar because of that. Alright, so now you can ask Yoga to join the bandits. I have to warn you though, this is easily the most difficult faction to be in, because you will be attacked on sight by almost everyone, except for some renegades, freedom and the bandits themselves. Actually freedom does not shoot at the player, but they will still shoot at other bandits. If you still decide to become a bandit, you will receive some RGD5 and F1 grenades as well as 20,000 rubles for your troubles. Now, let me explain why this war is the hardest. First of all, bandits are low on numbers and poorly equipped. Second of all, they are subject to the most bugs out of any faction, which means that you'll have to be resilient and patient. And third, the western entrances of the garbage, which are very close to your base will be under constant attacks from duty, 
which has more troops and better equipment. While this is going on, you also have to follow the faction's objectives, which means pushing to the south in loner's territory. This means that you basically have to be in two places at the same time, leading the assaults against the loners on the south, while also protecting your territories from the duty invasion in the west. Anyway, your main objective is to secure the path that lead from the garbage to the cordon. Then, capture the camps on the other side of the transitions to set foot into the cordon. And finally, make your way to the loner's base and kill everyone standing in your way. If you succeed, you will receive a ton of cash, ammo and medicines, but most importantly, a bulldog, grenade launcher and a GP-37 assault rifle. These will come in handy because later in the main quest lines you will have to encounter a lot of loners, for example at Yentar and in the Red Forest, and those will always be hostile to you. Alright, let's move on to a larger conflict. Duty versus Freedom. We'll go with Duty first, since it is the easiest side to take part in. In order to enlist in Duty, all you have to do is flood the Agroprom Underground as part of the main questline. After that mission, talk to General Krylov to join the faction, and receive your standard equipment. A PS5M suit, a Thunder S14 rifle, 9x39mm ammo and VOG grenades. From now on you'll be enemy with bandits and freedom. At this point the first objectives are usually already complete, because the agroprom is under control and the road to the garbage have already been captured. Make sure you do it if it's not already the case. Then proceed to the garbage. Make your way through bandits and freedom squads to secure the transition points to the dark valley. After that you can attack the valley itself. You have to destroy the two camps guarding the entrances. All of this is usually quite easy, because duty has a lot of resources and the freedomers should not pose much of a threat to the already well equipped player. Finally, you can assault Freedom's main base, and complete the faction war. Your reward will be a ton of money, an RP-74 machine gun with 600 rounds, and a PSZ duty armor. Oh, and one last thing, when you will get to the military warehouses later in the main quest, you will have to deal with the Freedom platoon defending the entrance of the level, as well as Kostian's squad, in front of the military base itself. Ok, what about freedom then? Well, to join them, you must complete the main quest to the exact same point again, after flooding the Agroprom underground. However, you also need to do a quest given by Chekhov after you finish the main quest in the Dark Valley. When you bring him the commander's PDA and he shares his info about Fang, he will ask the player for help again. And here's what you need to do. Capture the mercenary control antennas at the swamp and at the farm, and then destroy the mercenary forces at the factory to force them to blow their tunnel. After these two conditions are met, you can join Freedom, and receive a Guardian of Freedom suit, a scoped SGI rifle with ammo and some medkits. Duty is now your main enemy. First, you need to secure the exits of the valley if it's not done already. Then capture the entrances to the garbage. Make your way through the landfill and attack the outposts that lead to the agroprom. This is where it gets a bit harder, because naturally, freedom squads tend to lose against duty squads unless the player is involved. This is because dutiers have stronger armor and more firepower. But still, it should not be too difficult. Push your way to the agroprom to capture the outposts. Now all that's left is to destroy Duty's main base and win the war, at least for now. Upon completion you will be offered cash, a freedom exoskeleton, an SVD sniper rifle with ammo and a suppressed walker pistol with ammo as well. Oh, and when you get to the Red Forest later in the main quest, you will have to fight with Duty squads 
near the camp of Forrester. Well, that's it for the Faction Wars of Clear Sky. This was not a detailed guide, but more of an introduction. So if you want to see more, I suggest you try playing as the different factions yourself. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.